Welcome back guys to another video and today we're gonna take a look at why nice hash profits are down while Bitcoin is going up each and every day for the last past week. So how is this possible? How can you make less money in US dollars and less money in Bitcoin and Bitcoin price is going up? So it's actually quite simple but people don't seem to understand it because whenever I look at Reddit posts I can see people asking the same question again and again. And that question is why are my profits down? So, to explain this, we have to take a look at NiceHash Marketplace. So, as you can see right here, this is the NiceHash Marketplace. And over here, you can select each algorithm and see how much people are paying for your hash power. So, how is this marketplace even working? Well, when, I, when you're using NiceHash, you're actually not mining Bitcoin. And I hope that everybody who uses NiceHash already knows that. You are actually mining all other altcoins based on the profitability on how much people are willing to pay per your hash power. So if you take a look over here at Equihash, we can see that the highest bidder is paying 0.6 Bitcoin per 1 million solutions per day. And the limit that he wants is 0.03 million solutions and he currently has 38 miners with speed of 0.03 million solutions per second. So, this is how it actually works. You can select any other algorithm and see which one is the most profitable. Kitsa currently has, has no other payers. And if you take a look at something more popular like NeoScript, we can see it is really popular in EU and in the US. And if we start our miner right here, we can see that our profits will be about $4 per day, which is really bad compared to last two months when it was about 5 6 and at, at some time even at $8 per day. And how is this possible that we are making less money each day while Bitcoin is going up? Well, when Bitcoin goes up, the Bitcoin goes up against the altcoins. And if, let's say, Bitcoin goes up 10% while all other altcoins go up only 5%, Bitcoin went up 5% more than altcoins. And since you are mining altcoins, you are getting paid 5% less. This is the difference between altcoin and Bitcoin rise in the current market. But sometimes it happens that altcoins go up 20% while Bitcoin goes up only 10%, so you should be actually making 10% more in Bitcoin and 20% more in US dollars. But that doesn't actually mean that you will be making 10% more or actually anything else more than you were making before. Because if people are not willing to pay 20% or 10% more for you to mine altcoins for them, you are not gonna be paid more. Because if they can just get cheap hash power from you, why would they pay you more? Let's take a look at something that is less profitable like Blake 2S and you only have four people that are willing to buy your hash power for Blake 2S. And if you're mining Blake 2S, people can really manipulate that market really, really easily because if this, the most profitable seller gets, gets his, its hash power, and he only needs one miner, you will automatically be transferred to somebody else that is paying, as you can see right here, about 30% less. And if the algorithm switching is not working properly, like we have seen with NiceHash in the last few months, that they had pretty big problems with all the switching, it will cause you big problems. And it is the reason for the biggest market manipulation here on the NiceHash marketplace. Because people are abusing that algorithm switching to really, really big degree. And how is market manipulation working? It's actually not really hard to do because if you have a lot of Bitcoin you can pay the highest amount for buying hashing power. And you can see right here there are 983 people currently mining NIST5 for this guy here and he is paying 0.0039 Bitcoin per giga hash per day. And he can pay maybe even 0.06 or maybe he can even pay one Bitcoin per giga hash per day. And that would mean that he is paying 40 times more than the highest bidder right now. And all the 1000 miners would then switch and start mining for him. And the thing that he can do right then is just cancel his order. And the moment he cancels his order, if algorithm switching is not doing a very good job, it will just switch to, to the second less profitable person. And the second less profitable person could pay you maybe 90% less than the other coins are paying you. And then if you get stuck on that coin that is paying you 90% less just because of the market manipulation, it can take maybe even half an hour for your algorithm switching to kick in and to notice that the other coins are more profitable. So you are actually losing half an hour of mining 
for some other non-profitable coin that you could be spending on mining something like NeoScript. And this is actually really easily done if you have a lot of disposable e bitcoins that you can place order right here or right there. You can actually manipulate it to a huge, huge degree. And NiceHash knows that this is happening and they have started banning people that are manipulating the marketplace. But there are thousands and thousands of buyers of hashing power and to monitor all that it's really big deed to do. And that would be it for today guys and let me know what is your favorite algorithm to mine and what is your profitability and see you soon in another video. Bye.